Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing the artificial intelligence bot uh, called ChatGPT. Uh, it has been out for a few months. I'm a little late to the party, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, basically, ChatGPT is a artificial intel intelligence bot. Essentially, you could you throw at it a question uh, and it will give you an answer, a very detailed answer. At that uh, it's actually very a very helpful uh, uh, chat bot or whatever you want to call it. There's a difference between them, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, before I start, I just want to go. I just want to tell you guys two very quick things. All right, two very quick things, and that's it. First thing is my U uh, the latest YouTube video. It just got four thousand views, which is crazy. Uh, this is the highest amount of views I've ever got in my entire channel since I started back in like uh, four years ago, I believe. I started four years ago. It's uh, crazy to see my channel reaching such levels. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who has viewed this video. Uh, so second thing is, uh, my uh, latest video just got copy, uh, not copyright straight, taken down by YouTube because I was showing, uh, you know, showing how to use, uh, how to do things for free and you shouldn't do it for free. It was basically like a TV channel thing on Kodi. If you don't know Kodi, it's a program you can watch TV and all that stuff. Uh, it was taken down, so that's, um, that's why I'm a, little, I'm a little absent. So, yeah, so now we can get started. So, Let's open ChatGPT. So, uh, you can. By the way, you can log into ChatGPT using any account you want. Any account you want. You know, Google account, Apple uh, Apple account, Facebook account, and I believe Microsoft account. I don't think so, but I also think it could be Microsoft account too. Uh, or you can make, I believe, your own separate account too. So, as you can see, I just logged in using my Google account here. And uh, so, let's just start off with one thing. This is the first thing you're going to see once you have logged in to ChatGPT or open ChatGPT. So, uh, let's start off from the left. So, at the left uh, region section here, uh, let's start off from the top. So, we have a new chat. We can create a new chat. I'm right here on the new chat. And uh, down here, it'll give you a list of chats that you have uh, uh, basically did with uh, ChatGPT. So, I've already done one. Uh, I asked it a question uh, how you can uh, build, how to build a house. And it gave me an extremely detailed. Uh, in fact, ten steps of uh, of uh, how to build a house. So uh, it's not fully detailed. I mean, there are more things to it, but this compared to lots of AI uh, bots and all that stuff, this is pretty good. This is a higher level than previous versions of GPT. So the, uh, you can also change the name of the chat, or you could delete it completely. So let's create a new chat here. Oh, before that. Uh, under here, you can upgrade to the Plus, which is $20 a month. As you can see, ChatGPT Plus. It gives you faster response speed, you get more advantages and all that stuff. But I'm just going to stick with the free plan because it has all the things I need and more. Uh, so this is the account section. You know, you can basically just log out. You have settings regarding the the theme. You can change it to dark, uh, lo uh, dark mode, light mode, or the theme that your system is set to, which is dark in my case. I have uh, I have my window set in dark mode. So that's basically it for the left side. So uh, let's go into the se the section over here that's taken three fourths of the sc uh, screen. Um, this is where most of the things goes uh, happen. Most of the things uh, things happen. So let's start off here. We have the examples. So these are basically examples of uh, questions that you can ask to ChatGPT. So here they are. We also have capabilities. So things that uh, ChatGPT is able to do, like and remembers what user said earlier in the conversation, all that stuff. So I'm not going to read out everything. Um, lim oh, but however, ChatGPT does have limitations, like all AI chatbots. Um, uh, it does do a lot of weird things. One of the stranger things is the fact that it doesn't know events uh, after 2021. I think it's because, you know, this stuff was uh, developed way after 2021. Or just about a year after 2021. So I'm just going to uh, ask it a few questions here. Uh, let's uh, choose from the examples, actually. Uh, so explain quantum computing in simple terms. By the way, uh, just like I said, I believe I said in the start of the video, uh, you can, uh, coders use it, writers use it. Um, no, I didn't say it. Writers use it and coders use it to kind of uh, make things easier for them. So let's start off from the top here. Let's ask it this question and hit enter. So it's just going to think a little bit and it's going to give us an answer here. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses the principles of quantum physics to perform things and things and things. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, it's basically, you know, uh, normal code is uh, stored between 0 and 1. Quantum computing is between 0 and 1 all that stuff. 
So it gave me a three paragraph essay, I would say, uh, about quantum computing. So I'm going to ask it another question. In fact, I'm actually going to delete this one. For example, I'm just going to say, sure, delete for me. I'm going to create another new chat. I'm going to ask it, uh, write me an essay about the in or not the industrial revolution let's do world war two it's gonna give it's just gonna think a little bit and then it's gonna give me a giant answer here world war two was a go conflict from 1939 1945 the axis the uh, I, I believe the allies too you know i don't remember all that stuff yeah so it's uh it's gonna give you a whole essay. You can, and also by the way, you can also use this for essays too. So for all the people that uh, study, like me, I think we're gonna have an easier time here at school. So yeah, it gives you a complete and full-fledged uh, answer. So it's gonna take a little bit longer because I just told it to write an essay. So yeah, as you can see, it's just gonna keep going and going and going and going and going and going. The war came to an end in September of 1945. Lexi World War II continues to shave the world today with ongoing debates over issues. Yep, 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 all that's good stuff. In conclusion, World War II, and it's going to give you a conclusion, all that stuff, you know. Uh, so it's going to give you the, the start, and I believe the middle, and then the body of the text, and then obviously the uh, conclusion. And then once it's done, it's going to give you a title. Simple as that. So once it's done, you do have three options on the top right corner of the uh, answer. And it's basically you can copy it, so you can copy and paste it on the notepad or anything like that. You can also like the response or dislike the response. I'm going to like the response because it's a very, I'm just going to write, it is a very detailed essay regarding World WW2. All that stuff. You can also submit feedback. Simple as that. So that's basically it for uh, ChatGPT. I've told you everything that uh, the things that are shown here. Uh, I gave you basically three examples, uh, or actually two examples. Sorry, <laughs> two examples. I told you everything that Chat Ch uh, most things that ChatGPT does. So it's up to you now uh, to uh, ask it questions and all that stuff. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.